Today we're taking a ride down memory lane with this, the 1964 Pontiac Catalina with a 7.5 litre V8. Buckle up because this is truly a blast from the past. Story time. The name Catalina first appeared in 1950 as the highest trim level of the Pontiac Chieftain. In 1959, the Pontiac Chieftain was discontinued and the Catalina was turned into a standalone model. Here's another fact for you. This particular Pontiac Catalina was featured in a 2010 Australian movie named Walk Boys 2 Kings of Mykonos. Hello and welcome to yet another exciting episode of Classic Cars on Dubi Cars. In today's video, we're going to be talking about this utterly gorgeous 1964 Pontiac Catalina. Let's get started. The lines, the curves, it's a work of art on wheels. The designers at Pontiac certainly knew how to make a statement and the Catalina turned a lot of heads on the streets during the 60s. From up front, the Pontiac Catalina looks very similar to the Pontiac GTO which was more famous and in fact the Catalina was instrumental in the introduction of the Pontiac GTO. The straight face, the stacked headlamps, the chrome bumper all add to the character of the Pontiac Catalina. The Catalina badging right there in that font is an added bonus. The cabin is placed right in the middle and that leaves the boot with a length that is very similar to that of the bonnet. The fact that the roof is blacked out further gives it an aspect of styling. It rides on stylish 14-inch wheels and well, it's a great looking car even from the side profile. At the rear are sleek tail lamps, a massive chrome bumper, Pontiac lettering and dual exhaust outlets. Back in the good old days, American cars were all about being massive on the outside and spacious and super luxurious on the inside. Sliding into the driver's seat of the Catalina is like stepping into a time machine. The spacious interior, the elegant dashboard, it's a true representation of 1960s American automotive luxury. The analog horizontal instrumentation, three-spoke wooden steering wheel, ancient pioneer music system with cassette player and the flat dashboard all add character to the Catalina. Unlike other cars of its period, it features a flow-mounted gear shifter rather than one behind the steering wheel. These seats are less car seat-like and more sofa-like and that is something that becomes even more apparent when you're sitting at the rear. Under this long bonnet is the engine that powers the Catalina and let's take a quick look, shall we? Under this heavy bonnet lies this, the 7.5 litre V8. It still remains the largest engine Pontiac has produced till date. Now this is not the original engine that came with this particular Catalina. It was actually a 6 cylinder engine which was then replaced by this, the 7.5 litre L75 engine from the Pontiac GTO. It produces around 360 horsepower and 678 newton meters and is paired with a 3-speed automatic transmission. Yes, you heard that right. This Catalina is driven by a 3-speed automatic gearbox. Whether you're a seasoned car collector or someone who just appreciates a good car, the Pontiac Catalina is sure to entice you as it embodies the spirit of an era where cars were more than just transportation. They were a statement. This particular Catalina is even more attractive as it has clocked just 6,664 kilometers in all those years. Go ahead and find this 1964 Pontiac Catalina from Auto Deals on Dubi Cars. That's it from us for now. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.